route. Here's the Matty route drain right here. It works, works perfect. This is the low spot of the, the trap. Pretend. And pretend this pipe goes under the ground and out that way and daylight's over there. You just put a perforated pipe, put a cap on it. And that drain is done. Water will always find the low spot. Don't worry. That's a, you could always build a, a dendritic drain and put a lot of arms out and stuff, but the water's always going to come there and it's going to leave. I promise you. It doesn't like to be sitting on a high spot. You could put filter fabric on top of that. You could, yeah, and poke holes in it. But sometimes we run into a filter fabric that gets clogged up. And then. I'm not a huge component it, it, myself. Yeah, he knows he that. Don't, he doesn't like filter fabric too much. I don't like it because much. as soon as a dog digs at it and it starts pulling up, you got to tear the whole thing out. Yeah, but so, I mean, I'm just talking about where the hole Oh, is. for here. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, but make sure it's a good one. Make sure it's going to drain through because we've run into a couple of them that when they get base on them, they, they don't let water run through. But then if you had to, it's just sand on here, you can take it up and replace that. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Yep. I thought you meant fabric on the whole thing. I'm not, no, no, no. I don't I'm not a component of that at all. But he'll compact the heck out of the trap before he puts any sand in it. Right. The, the, the biggest point of that, the filter fabric, is to not get rock into your sand. But when you put it five, six inches in a trap and the guy goes in there eight times a year, it's not a problem. But for a guy that's going to use his green a lot, Probably put some filter fabric in there. You know, do you put base in here? Or do Absolutely. You yes. Yep. Base. Absolutely. We'll have this whole compacted and smooth out. I think people think that there's a the reason to put fabric is so the weeds don't grow. The weeds don't grow anyway. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's it's synthetic all the way around. <coughs> fucking spray it with Roundup. Who cares? <laughs> it's more of a pain in the ass if you have fabric sticking out of your green the whole time, and every time you rake it, you pull more up and pull more up, and then the sand goes underneath it, and it looks like. Well, shit. hell, we're gonna quit using it then. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't see. Yeah, the, no, I, I, don't I see agree the with you. We, you we don't. We didn't yeah. do it when I was a, a, in golf construction. We it was straight dirt, sand on top of it. No, no fabric. No no yeah. Yeah. Okay, what do we got here? So we've come. We've come quite a long way yes, in a short year or two. That this, probably put this pipe in traps three years, maybe. Yep. Right? Yep. Used to use a four inch. You can perforated like that or it doesn't matter if it's perforated or not but a, a flexible pipe uh, three inch is a lot easier to use if you can't find this stuff which you can always order but last flexible minute flexible PVC right this you, one is you a spot pipe that meant to carry hot water it's pretty moldable use a 10 inch nail smash it in there so what diameter is that? that's a three three inch inside I think you can uh, use two three or four they all so, look good so hey Zeus we'll make a, a flat shelf right Pack that really good. And when you lay this pipe, don't put it up against the wall because you might want to adjust it. Leave it an inch off the wall so that when you say, all right, let me pull one of those nails and the, the curve didn't look good from when I went up and looked by the house or something. Yeah. Leave some room and that's so you can adjust it. Sometimes you have to make the adjustment. Make the adjustment. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my first pitching coach told me. Hey, hey Seuss Renee, that was his name too. Here's Wes's biggest pet peeve in all of turf. The <laughs> you want to see Wes's biggest pet peeve in all of turf, it's not packing this in here. Guys, that shit crazy. Right, because you need to make it, this is what it needs to look like when it's done. Like this, this is falling into the trap, getting it wet. Okay, great, it looked good, but someone's going to step there 80 times. Yeah. So, to, to combat look, that, you, you can mix some mix You'll end some up with a dip right here if you don't do it, and it yeah. looks stupid yeah. as hell. You can mix some mortar and do the same thing. Still pack the mortar in there. We did that on Mickey's, uh, Mickey's Green. So if you put that turf down like that right there, yeah. go ahead, it's going to show. It's going to look bad. See that? That dip right there, especially after you brush Western it up and Hill everything. put rubber down over it? No, nope. we well, once in a while, but it's a lot of work. You don't need we it. We did that one. What'd you say? Center. We pad. You can take your pad. pad. Oh yeah, if you're if you're padding everything, you can go over it. It's just another step. But you still you still need to do that. It'll oh, show yeah, through, yeah. It'll show through the pad for sure. Yeah. It'll it'll hide it a little just bit better. Over, you gotta pack, pack, pack from the front and right. back. Get and, a little uh, extra. Just put a lot of extra. <laughs> huh? Get it. Uh, Same thing. Just gotta pack that shit. Same yeah. thing. Spray spray it with water too. Yeah. Make a ledge. Same thing. Same exact. Same material. Yeah, no different. Can't really pack it soft, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so when you guys, um, 
So we're just staple. We're just staple. We're just staple. Staple down on a compressor. Let's just get stapled in like that. Okay. So what kind of staples do you use? Yeah. That would be a complete, one complete and a, circle. One and a half inch. Uh, what are they, one and a half inch staples? Mm -hmm. yeah. Make sure they're galvanized. Yeah. How do you do a staple oh, you in? How do you do a staple in? Like that? Really oh, what? Same. Make a deeper bank. Same. Same thing. No different. Same thing. You want to make so, this shelf. A one and a half inch uh, uh, crown staple, which is quarter, quarter inch, inch yeah, yeah, galvanized. You can dig this down as far as you want straight to China if you want to. It doesn't change anything. Oh, you dig the dirt down. Yeah, yeah. yeah go ahead and yeah. dig your base down and, and make, the, make the trap you, the way you want it. Using this pipe, man, and these bunkers look way better. I mean, better. you keep laying the pipe on top of each other, you just dig the dirt. I, I, I'm totally confused. I'm confused. He's, he's so, talking so, about a bunker coming out. Yeah. Oh, in other words, yeah, it, yeah I got it. Yeah. In, I can like shut this, uh, it wouldn't change the anything. <laughs> you got it. You got to have a ledge. Once you have a ledge, and it can go straight down from there. But you still have a ledge here. It's just dirt. Just base. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm with you. What? Okay. Sit here. Put this little area. That's a nice idea. Get the best of this cut right here. Yeah, when Mark did it, it wasn't very good. But you're, but you're stapling it underneath. <laughs> I would do machine sand in the back, hit it lightly, <laughs> run it out that way. Watch. That's okay. He plays it all right. Well, it's because there was relief cuts all down it like that. He goes, you brought them. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you fix it with the staple gun, you'll see. Real quick. Jesus, to make a cut you never here. see these hairs, but it looks better when it's nice and even. Jesus just follows me around and fixes what I do. <laughs> <laughs> so look at he, he just, look how fast he cuts that down. Don't do it that fast. Oh do. shit, Matt's got Whatever you do, don't cut it that fast. That's slow mo. Can we slow him down more? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, he's cut turf so long, you guys realize he knows how to cut a curve from the back, right? It's just automatic. Don't try that on your first job. Just go slow and practice. But these bunkers look so good when you do it this way. You guys can just roll it over like that, you know, like this. Yeah. If, but, you, but if you want to separate yourself, men from the boys, if you will, you're doing something that no one else is doing. It's just a really clean, finished edge. I'll tell you something else. I want somebody to work on it, Joe. So you know how when you roll that face over, when you roll that face over in a uh, in a uh, real setting, the grass gets brown because they trim it, right? Do you take a uh, steamer machine, uh, and you heat this up right here, the turf shrinks in the brown, the, the thatch, you see the brown, it looks just like a real front face. Don't try that shit at home either. But, <laughs> but I, I, I'm not on a green, I did, I did it playing around. So I can I can melt I can melt this and expose this fiber, and it looks like somebody weed whacked it, like a brown edge coming over. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah. That's some innovation right there, Dan. <laughs> so, with the, so with the stapler? Well, I mean, you shoot the steam mm -hmm. hey, you No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. I use the steam You know Yeah. But with the stapler, you could just go right from underneath. But I like to do one on the top. And a lot of times you're going to have a relief cut that you've done. So you want to make sure that there's no... Sometimes you'll, you've made your relief cuts pretty far because a lot of times our... Um, our cuts are not a. Uh, this one is like 60 years old. He's had that for 20 years, hasn't he? So, a lot of the times they're not this. This is mellow, right? A lot of times our traps, especially Matt Ralph, they're diving in there. So, you're always going to be making big relief cuts on your carpet. Don't worry about it. That's going to help you not get tiger stripes over here and here like that. So, cut them long. And this is your, this is your glue right here. You agree with that, Jesus? Of course it does. He taught me it. He taught me it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just joking. So once you get, you, you, you can do as many nails as you want in here. You know, it's still in there. But when you go for the underneath ones, don't worry about separating fibers or anything like that because they're underneath there. Good luck getting that one up. Nice. The spot, the spot pipe holds really well. Any questions on that? Because we got to keep moving. Anybody? Okay. Let's go to the stack side real quick, and oh, then we're no. going to have lunch. There's connections you can put, say, if you've got more than 100 foot or more than 50 foot in your trap. 
fill up a Gatorade bottle with base, wrap that with duct tape, put them together, and then you can put nails through the Gatorade bottle. We were using a paint can, but you can't nail through the paint can. You know what I'm saying? Take a neck to buy a neck to take a Gatorade. For right here, yeah. It's already. No, it's got to be. Power is on board.